I was looking at this code and decided, you know what? This code really stinks. It's not very readable. It's hard to maintain. And we need to make it more maintainable before we move on. The main problem is we have all these coordinate spaces going on. And I can't tell. Is this normal in the world coordinate space, the model coordinate space? What about this normal? What coordinate space is that in? And full transformation matrix? Oh, what's that moving me from? It's just hard to think like this. And I want to take as much thinking out of my brain as possible because my brain is not capable of much thinking. So let's see if we can make this a little bit more maintainable. I'm, for well, first of all, before we do a refactoring, let's make sure this all works. And I actually noticed one error in the code. This interpolated normal that comes in, we need to normalize that. Before refactoring, we should make sure that it works. It does work. I'm going to make a little change to make sure it works. Make a little change, make sure it still works. Make another little change, make sure it still works. Okay, first of all, this position here is the vertex position. So I'll say vertex position. You notice we call this vertex color. I'm going to call this vertex position, not to confuse with the light position or the position of anything else in our scene. This is the vertex position in model space. You know, this is the vertex color in model space, but I don't really see our vertex color changing depending on what space it's in. So I'll just say that's vertex color. But this is normal in model space. Okay, now vertex position model. Let's make sure we get all the positions and replace that with vertex position model. And then the normals. Let's get those and replace those as well. I think that's all of them. Control F5. Scene still looks good. We're good to go. Be a good time to commit if you're using source control. Uh, let's move on. Full transformation matrix. I don't like that. What this full transformation matrix is really doing is moving our model to projected position. It takes our model, moves it to the world, takes the world, moves around the camera, takes the scene in front of the camera, and projects it into projected position. A lot of people call this MVP, Model View Projection Matrix. I'm going to call it Model to Projection Matrix. And I'm not going to throw transform in there. I'm not going to throw the word transform in there because that's what matrices do. They transform. So I think adding the word transform is a waste. Model to projection matrix. In fact, I'm going to control Z all that. Back to what it was. It was model. Full transformation matrix. Control H and do model to projection matrix. I like the word matrix on there because I also remember that this is matrix. It's kind of Hungarian notation-ish, I think. But between the vectors and the matrices, I like to keep things straight. So full transformation matrix we're going to rename to model to projection. I'll say replace all. That should be good. Go back to our GL window and click out here. Hit Control H. I clicked in the white space here because Visual Studio will fill in whatever you've got selected. So I want, I want to maintain that search function. I want to say, hey, Still look for full transform matrix. That's why I made sure my cursor was in a blank spot. And I want to place model to projection. So let's just uh, do replace next. You can see we even called it full transformation matrix out here. I'm feeling like we need a match case, match whole word. Let's just replace that. Replace, 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 replace. That's the important one we need to replace. Let's control F5, make sure this builds and still runs. And scene's looking good. Let's go back to our shader. Good time to commit. In fact, I think I will. Don't blink. I'm going to go offline and commit this. Go back here. Model to world transformation matrix. Can copy that. Control H. Paste that there. I want to get that word transform out of there. I, I think it's, it's a waste. It's not needed. It's superfluous. Uh, replace next. Replace next. Replace next. Same thing over here. Click in a white spot. Control H. Replace next, replace next, and I think we're good to go. Obviously, our uniforms, names, we could take transform out of there as well. We'll clean that up later. I want to focus on the shader code for now. Control F5, build that, run that, and the scene's still looking good. Good time to commit. Uh, let's go up here. So we have vertex position model, vertex color, normal model. So these are nice and descriptive, and they tell me what coordinate space they're in. And we have our uniforms fixed. Model to projection matrix. Model to world matrix. This is a terrible variable name. The normal. <laughs> what coordinate space is that in? World? Uh, model? What is it? Yeah. Anyway, we, we know this is the world normal. So I'll control H that. The normal will actually be the normal. 
world. I'll tack the coordinate space on the end, just the same as we did over here with these model coordinate spaces. And go here, replace next, replace next. I could do a replace all, but sometimes I feel like that's just too heavy of a hammer and I can't tell what's going on. So that's normal world, the normal world, the normal world. That's our out parameter, it gets sent to our fragment shader. So now we need to call this the normal world. But actually, the, why do I have the on there? Ah, oh, sorry, let's change that to normal world. I need to go back here and do it now. Uh, Control H, call it normal world, replace, replace. Good, I don't know why I put the on there. It's the normal in the world. Normal world, copy that. Let's just Control H again, normal world. Wanna replace the normal world with normal world. But there's not world on the end of that, sorry. And replace. Cause I got a, I had a, cause I had a U in there. Ah, oh, so frustrating. Whatever, I'll just do that right there. Control F5. Scene still looks good. I also noticed something though. We need to renormalize this normal due to interpolation between the vertex shader and the fragment shader. It's very possible that this normal could no longer be normalized. So I actually have to say normalize right there. I'm not sure why I missed that. Normalize. And we're looking good. Good time to commit. Hold on. Okay, the position. That's a crummy name. The position. What what coordinate space is that in? The position. That's world position. So I'll say vertex position world. And copy all of that. And we'll put that right there. Remember, we take the vertex position in model space. Hit it with the model to world matrix right here. And we Remember, we took this popped it right here, put it there into a temporary V, and then applied the model to world transformation matrix, which means the result is our vertex position in world coordinate space. So that's much more descriptive. I can see, oh, this is the vertex position, and I can see what coordinate space that's in. So I'll take that, copy that, go over here. Instead of saying the position, I'll say vertex position world, replace, replace. I think we're good. Control F5. Scene still looks good. You notice how I'm testing it every time. I'm Control F5, Control F5. I'm not doing 100 refactorings and then praying it works. I'm doing it step at a time, step at a time, committing as I go. Instead of, hey, let's do 100,000 changes. Oh, nothing renders. What did we do wrong? If you do one little change and it quits rendering, you know immediately, oh, what I just did blew it up. And if you're committing often in between those changes, it's not hard to compare what you just did and try to figure out what's going on. And you can also revert if you, if necessary. Anyway, light position. What coordinate space is that in? Well, it's actually in world coordinate space. So I'll put world on the end of that and world on the end of that. Let's go to our uniform. I'll say light, uh, light position right there. And we'll call it light position world and replace, replace. Replace. That's a little more readable, a little bit more maintainable to be able to see what coordinate space we're talking about directly in our variable names. Now, being even more picky, this is the light vector in world coordinate space. I'll say light vector world coordinate space. Control F5. Still looks good. I think we're getting there. Oops. Let's go to our vertex shader code. And I think we're good to go. So I was hoping that refactoring would clean things up here and make it more maintainable. I can tell what matrix is doing what exactly, what coordinate space it moves it from into, and then I can see, well, these positions and normals, what coordinate spaces they're in. So nice, good refactoring. On to the next video.